So today we're gonna go through some Reddit things once again, and yeah, um, today's actually my rest day, so I haven't worked out today. It feels pretty good, feels pretty great. I also feel like just um, sleeping quite good today, since you know I'm I'm pretty good in time. But but we are gonna see. Let's see what uh, Reddit is saying. As the president of the USA reports testing positive for COVID-19, I reminded that it is wrong to take pleasure in others' pain. By the stoicism subreddit, by the way, you know, to just point that out. This is the passion called epicureacy. And I just remember, should I actually... No, I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna use a scarf. You know, I'm not gonna use my underwear. It's a little bit strange. Well, this passion, uh, this is the passion called epicureacy and is unreasonable because it reaches beyond what is one's own and falsely claims the pain of another as a good. Conversely, being pain bad as pain is also wrong. This is a passion called compassion and it requires making the opposite mistake, shrinking away from something indifferent that merely appears as an evil. No matter how vicious a person is, it is always wrong to rejoice in their misfortune. A person's physical health is neither good nor bad for us, and it is up to them whether it is good or bad for them. Which is definitely the motherfucking case. Edit, to clear up any ambiguity, this is not a defense of the current American government and its figurehead. <laughs> this is an opportunity to grab the low-hanging fruit and avoid the vice of epicurity, and if one is pained by this news, the vice of compassion. But yeah, just got a few messages as always. And I do want to say once again as well, um, I don't know, like it also doesn't necessarily feel right to do that. You know, it doesn't feel right to be happy about somebody else's loss and somebody else's pain and somebody else's whatever. So don't do it. You know, if it is not right, don't do it. The truth hurts. I know the truth hurts, but you know, some things we say or do happen for a reason. If you're thinking about doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing, then don't do it because some choices we make can have dire, dire consequences than, uh, what that can get you enough trouble to land you in jail for the rest of your life. So please be careful for the choices you make in your life because some can change your life forever. Don't take everything for granted. The, uh, the things in your life are precious, so please spend your moments with the people you love even if it is the last ones you'll have be who you are and live life to the fullest and make every moment in your life a memory you will remember for the rest of your life so please don't waste your life away this past is the past to let it go whether you did or are going through is forgiven so please don't hang on to it and hang on to it anymore because if you do it will eat you up inside until there's nothing left so please let it go and move on you know, once again, uh, I've realized that being able to communicate in a very, in a very clear way, and also being able to write down your thoughts in a very clear way, is definitely something to pursue. You know, it's definitely a skill and a quote unquote dream, maybe as well, to to really pursue. Because I don't know, you know, if your writing is shit, I know we can understand whatever you're referring to and saying and whatnot. It's 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 not cool. It's just not great and no i didn't want to press that please go away my african neighborhood how the houses are built it's actually pretty interesting but i do want to go through something else though but could you please well let's do it differently then let's do it like that because it hopefully is working i don't know if it is but i think so Tomorrow I'm actually, I think, gonna buy myself a lamp. A pretty cool lamp sitting there, uh, making some cool light for the sake of a moodier room, I guess, you know, because when I'm, I don't know, laying in bed or sitting here watching something, reading something, I don't want to have this fucking light over there or on the roof um, or ceiling to just be on. You know, it is a very harsh light. It's also not that warm and and i don't know like it just does feel pretty good but i don't know why this isn't working there so let's give it another shot maybe this is working and yes it is anyone else, anyone else feels like there's a million things they want to learn but don't know how to allocate time there's actually quite a few things that i want to learn as well yeah 
but I don't necessarily think that, I don't know, like there's always good ideas and better ideas and worse ideas. Today I learned that mathematician uh, Bertrand Russell once wrote a 360 page proof to show that one plus one is two. <laughs> Said in famously long proof is found in his seminal Principa Mathematica, which, uh, despite its acknowledged importance in the study of the foundations of math, is so complex and obtuse that it is rarely used today. It is a strange thing, you know, how can you write 360 fucking pages about 1 plus 1 is 2? But apparently, I guess, um, we are able to do so. Today I learned that the Chinese army has been training 10,000 pigeons to provide support to the military's communications in the event that war renders its modern technology unusable. The pigeons flying at speeds of up to 75 miles or 120 kilometers per hour are being trained to carry loads of up to 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. Which is quite something, like 100 grams is not nothing. I mean 100 grams of uh, TNT or some other... Explosive is dangerous. Really is. Um, let's see. How can I be more assertive without feeling guilty? Today I learned 56-year-old Russian woman suffered a seizure while feeding her pigs and was the and was then eaten alive after falling into the into the pen. Her husband found her remains in the morning. These fucking pigs. It reminds me of um George Orwell's Animal Farm, you know? I don't actually know why, just maybe due to the pigs being bad and the evil thing there. Anyway, today I learned in the 1930s, Bob Wyan had a cushy job managing a restaurant but felt he didn't know the business fully. So he quit, got jobs as a dishwasher, fry cook and then counter help. With with that experience, he started Bob's Big Boy, invented the double-decker burger and became hugely successful. Pretty interesting, you know, really, really interesting. But let's see if there is some cool things in the cool guides separate, because most often there is, and so I dearly hope that there as well is. D&D ability scores explained with tomatoes. I don't know, is it Dungeons and Dragons? D&D? Dungeons? I think so. Sign language guide. Yes? No? Thank you? Sorry? Hello? I love you. I love you is strange. Goodbye, please, family. You know, I, I could really... Well, there's... Love is, is something else as well. Um, But it, I do want to point out that... You know, I, I thought like... You know, I could explain it maybe, you know, verbally, but it is way too complicated, I guess. You know, nobody would actually understand whatever the fuck I'm saying. So, yeah. Never interchangeable. Kids, quick... Reference guides. I think I don't want to go through that. A guide guide to the homes of New Orleans. There we have the shotgun, the double shotgun, the bungalow, uh, Creole cottage, Greek revival. Yes, it really looks Greek. American cottage uh, and trestle, Creole townhouse, American townhouse, Queen Anne, mausoleum. And this is Second Empire. They, I mean, they all look fucking amazing. I all, I just like them all. Period. Types of intelligence. Yes, this is a pretty cool thing. And it is actually indeed something that I've been talking about before. But there is no such thing as one type of intelligence. You know, there is not like IQ in terms of intelligence or intelligence in terms of IQ. But also other things like spatial intelligence, visualizing the world in 3D, then naturalist intelligence, understanding living things and reading nature, musical intelligence, discerning sounds, their pitch, tone, rhythm and timbre, then logical, mathematical, which is I think the one we would all say is like the typical type of intelligence, quantifying things, making hypotheses and proving them, period. Then uh, existential Lacking the questions of why we live and why we die. Oh, tackling the question. Then interpersonal, sensing people's feelings and motives. Then bodily kinesthetics or kinesthetic uh, coordination with mind. With what? Coordinating your mind with your body. 
for your body and mind. Well, linguistic, finding the right words to express what you mean. And then intrapersonal, so not interpersonal, but intrapersonal, understanding yourself, what you feel and what you want. So we all are fucking intelligent. And by the way, it is by Mark Vidal. I haven't seen this chart before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I thought there's like seven types of intelligences. Infographic of infographics. I actually want to save that because it's cool. It really is. You know, well done. Well done to this person that made that. Cool guide for creating Minecraft circles. I'm not going to go through that. If you ever need a map of hydrogen atoms, here it is. Don't forget your surf. It's wavy over there. Well, I don't necessarily think that I ever will need that. Guide to choose your shirt and fit. Let's see. It's by the way for man. I know I should point it out. Need more room for comfort. Want more definition. So we're going to go for comfort. There's um, your fit is regular. Generous cut, relaxed armholes and fuller sleeves. Uh, looking for narrower look. Um, your fit is slim. Tailored cut, higher armholes and taped sleeves. Then athletic, which apparently is a thing, which is for more definition. Contract cut fitted at the waist full of sleeves. Yes, definitely full of sleeves. Well, I don't like the athletic one. I do like the slim one the most. There's also the extra slim. Um, body enhancing, extreme slim fit, extreme sleek, extreme modern. Well, everything is extreme, but I don't actually like it that much. I kind of feel like it is a bit over the top. But I don't know. Like, it, it could just also be me, of course. Uh, but let's see. Know the difference between a panic attack and an anxiety attack for yourself, friends, family, and co-workers. Panic attack. Symptoms are more intense and can cause a major disruption in your day. Characterized by four or more of the following symptoms. Uh, heart palpitation, pounding heart... Uh, excessive sweating, trembling or shaking, sensations of shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, feeling of choking, chest pain or discomfort, nausea or abdo don abdominal stress or distress, feeling dizzy, unsteady, lightheaded or faint, feelings of unreality or being detached from oneself, fear of losing control or going crazy, fear of dying, numbness or tingling sensations, chills or hot flashes. Then there's anxiety attack. Anxiety intensifies over a period of time. Stress may reach a level that is overwhelming and feel like an attack. Symptoms of anxiety may include muscle tension, disturbed sleep, difficulty concentrating, fatigue, restlessness, irritability, increased style response, increased heart rate, shortness of breath, dizziness. Symptoms may have uh, may be persistent and very long-lasting. The very long-lasting point just doesn't make it better. Very long last, you know, if you already just, I don't know, read that, it sounds like you don't want to have that. How do you want it cooked? Blue rare patty has heart of fire. How much snow does it take to cancel school? Actually, not that much in the southern parts of the United States, but in the... What? Are you fucking kidding me? Any snow? There is... Actually, uh, you know, in the very southern parts, if there is any snow, school is going to be cancelled. I mean, yeah, okay, fine, but why? Then there's like 30 centimeters, 15 centimeters, 8 centimeters, 2.5 centimeters, which, you know, which is, I don't know. It's also nothing quite, but anyway. How much animals sleep in... 24 hours. Oh, there's like a chart in... The brown bat is sleeping like 82.9% of the fucking day, which is 9.9 .9 hours. You know, and the lion, by the way, as well, 13.5 hours. I mean, I mean, it is just one chunk of muscle. Quite. You know, a lion and tigers and all these big cats, actually. Yeah. The Schmidt Pain Index, reaching from Asian Needle Ant to the Warrior Wasp. Let's see. Asian Needle Ant, 
uh, Prachiponera Chinensis or whatever. Nightfall, falling a day at the beach. You forgot the sunscreen. Your burnt nose lets you know. Index 1. Ferocious Polybia Wasp. Polybia Rejecta. Like a trick gone wrong, your posterior is a target for a BB gun. Bull's eye over and over. Pain Index 1.5. Surgering Army Ant. Echid. Ton Burkelli or something. A cut on your elbow stitched with a rusty needle. <laughs> this is a well, you know, explanation. Pain index also 1.5, but it actually sounds way more like painful than the first one or the upper one. Honey wasp, spicy, blistering, a cotton swab dip in habanero sauce has been pushed up your nose. Pain index 2. A nocturnal hornet. Uh, Pro Vespa SP dot or period. Rudy insulting, rude insulting an ember from your campfire is glued to your forearm. And it's 2.5. By the way, there is some channel and I don't know what it's called. I've forgotten about it, but it's, there's a guy and he's testing out all different stings from different animals and it really hurts. Of course it does, but he tries it out and he just tries it and yeah, anyway. Giant paper wasp, they're gods and they do throw thunderbolts. Poseidon has rammed his trident in your breast. Three, and is also called Megapolistes SP, the velvet ant. Um, explosive and long lasting, you sound insane as you scream. Hot oil from the deep fryer spilling over your entire hand. Pain index three, the velvet ant. Uh, Dissimutilia klugi, klugli, klugi with double I, I don't know. Bullet ant, Parabonera uh, clavata. Pure intense brilliant pain like walking or flamey charcoal with a three inch nail embedded in your heel. Pain index four. Uh, tarantula hawk wasp, uh, Pepsis SPP, blinding fierce uh, shockingly electric. A running hair dry has just been dropped into your bubble bath, a bolt out of the heavens. Lie down and scream. And the last one is the warrior wasp. And this, by the way, is by the History Channel, which, at, at least in my point of view, is having a really cool logo. But anyway, warrior wasp. Uh, you know, Ekaseptentrionalis. Torture, you're chained in the flow of an active volcano. Why did I start this list? Pain Index 4, by the way. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode there. I, I really hope that I've been able to just share some things that are of interest to you. But yeah, I wish you the best health of happiness and all success and also hope that you're going to remind yourself and you're going to be remembered, which basically means your legacy and basically means just being a nice person and then being remembered as a nice person, which is a pretty fucking cool thing. Three other questions that we have you are why are you here when I'm trying to change and what is boring with the most these three questions are hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business that which is a pretty fucking cool thing. Yeah, um... One last thing that I'm having for you is, what could you essentially say to another person that is indeed going to change their life? Because I totally believe that we all can say something, we all can communicate something that is indeed going to change somebody's life. And yeah, with that being said, I'm hopefully going to see you next time. And and bye bye. Please take care of yourself, your family members, and every one of your loved ones and your friends. So bye bye. Have a good one. And thank you from the bottom of my heart.